Welcome back to the channel everyone and if you're new here my name is Victor and today I'm back with another Adobe After Effects tutorial. Today I'll be teaching you how to do a big flex effect. Check it out. So in Arnold's book he talks about how he's a grower and not a shower. So let me show you what that means. Like right now this is how I look but when I actually go to flex that's how I look. All right, so the first thing I did to accomplish this look was filming myself on a green screen with a tripod. After that, I walked off frame to get a clean plate of what was behind me with the exact same focus. After that, I was ready to jump into After Effects. So I imported my clips and then created a new composition by dragging one of the clips into the Create New Composition. I then dragged my clean plate layer under my subject footage. So now the first order of business is to mask around the green screen and then key out the green Green screen and this isn't a green screen tutorial so I won't be going over the specifics of green screen King but if you're interested in learning a little bit more about King out of green screen masking rotoscoping I have a course on Skillshare there's a link in the description you can check it out and get a free month all right once our green screen is keyed out on our subject clip scroll to where you want the effect to start and then command D to duplicate that clip and then command shift D to split that clip and delete everything that comes before where you want the effect to start on that duplicate layer and now on this duplicate layer we're going to delete the mask around the green screen and then create a new mask around the muscles that we want to grow leave the mask mode set to add and then boost the feather just a little bit i did five and now you should still be at the beginning of the effect so we're going to turn on the mask path keyframes and now scrub to where you want the growing portion of this effect to stop and adjust the mask points as necessary so that it's still keeping about the same part of the arm masked and before we move on just scrub in between those two points of the growing portion of the effect and just make sure that that mask is staying consistent if it's not just make the necessary adjustments now we will be coming back to these mask path keyframes but for right now go to the beginning of the effect and open up the transform properties turn on the position and scale keyframes and uncheck the link for the scale now move to the end of the growth portion of this effect and boost the y value for the scale so the muscle should be stretching out like this and then you're going to adjust the Y value for the position to where it looks like it could be the subject's muscle. Now of course you're probably noticing that the edges of the muscle that we masked out are not lining up with the shoulder or the elbow and the way that we're going to fix that is by searching for the effect called mesh warp and adding it to the duplicate layer. Go back to the beginning of the effect and turn on the distortion mesh keyframes. Now go back to the end of the growth portion of this effect and adjust the grid line so that the corner of the muscles are lining up to where they need to be. And now you're going to scrub through the duration of the effect so as long as your subject's muscles are going to be big and you're going to adjust the mask path keyframes accordingly to make sure that the mask stays around the parts of the muscle that you want. And then that's it. That is how you do the big flex effect. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and learned something. If you did, leave me a thumbs up, comment what you thought down below, and then don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you in the next one.